Dead fish floating and a substance with an orange hue surrounds the edges of the Hopkinson family's pond. Those who have called this land their own for generations are puzzled and upset. Well, I want to see it for myself and walking around I see the dead fish, the koi fish and everything that I remember putting in as a kid and they're not going to make it. The EPA says two wetlands and a private pond were severely impacted by the spill. They're working on a cleanup plan right now. It's in the works. Meantime, the owner of this property tells me he doesn't believe KDA is being a good neighbor. Everything seems to be going around that they don't care about what's happening to the neighbors. And I think that what my concern is the next generation. The EPA says the oil was discharged from an underground pipe on the property. John Hopkinson says that he reported the spill on the EPA hotline Monday. He was told to call back in a couple days. The resident claims that ODNR and the EPA did not arrive until Thursday afternoon. A township trustee and Viana's fire chief are now upset that they weren't notified of this spill sooner. Cleese Development Associates operates the KDA well site. It voluntarily suspended operations until further notice. The company issued a statement saying it's taking immediate action including launching an internal review of KDA protocols to ensure they have the right processes in place to promote environmental stewardship. The EPA believes the spill is contained to the contaminated areas, but it's not known how long it will last or the toll it will take. With more local news, I'm Lindsay McCoy.